Well, let's continue on down <coughs> to the bottom down here and see if we can assess where we're at. I just... Mm -hmm. So, hopefully there'll be a two-tracker that turns once we get across this next draw. Hopefully a two-tracker that turns and goes to the kind of heads north northwest again that's what I'm hoping we're gonna find definitely got a little rain out here there's a little mud you don't think there's anything else huh? well could be this yeah let's go and look kind of in a area I've never really been in before. There are so many little two trackers running every which way that it's hard to know if we're on the right one or not. Plus my map is the latest BLM map but it's from 2009 so maybe there's been some land swaps. You know I, I, you never know. I do have my GPS with me, but it's also probably in need of up, updating. It's probably five years old. And it's showing pretty much different info than what my little BLM map is. We've definitely got some rancher's property over here big pile of hay and we're not sure what all. Huh? There's actually a bridge down here. Wow. <laughs> Didn't expect this. This is all new construction here, huh? Pulled out the old culverts and built a bridge. That's pretty wild. That must be the rancher that's got their hay and stuff over here because I think this is how they get into here. A little water flowing. I don't think that's South Fork of the Powder River. Nope. Kawasaki Motor is an angry little thing. Exhaust don't make a lot of noise, but the engine sure clatters. Especially compared to the little Honda 150, it's real quiet. Got some prairie dogs. They haven't been shot at, you can tell. They're just sitting out here staring at us. Got another, no, nope, no gate. Couple of vehicles here, so I don't know if there's gonna be some ranch hands here. If there are, I hope they're friendly and maybe can give us a little exactly where we're at. Like I say, we're looking for the South Fork of the Powder. And I think it's the next big one over here, but I don't know. I think, looks like they got them a container and a little shed with a stove in it, so they probably eat sheep herders. Maybe. Usually they reserve the hay for cattle. Yeah, this ain't going nowhere. This isn't going anywhere.
So, hmm. Now, what do we do? Where do we go? Maybe this is the South Fork down here. I just kind of thinking that next big one over there about a mile is probably more it, but. That road just kind of just ends. There's just some tracks across the grass. Not really a road. So I'll, maybe this is the South Fork, or I'm still thinking that is. So maybe if we go back up to that one up on top here, there was a two uh, trekker heading that way. Maybe, huh? I know, I know. This is brand new bridge, looks like. So I don't know, Gary. Um, I wished I'd, I should have done my trip odometer, so we'd know where the heck we're at. So, so much for going that away. Might come out here later in the summer with a, a varmint rifle and do a little long range target practice at some of the prairie dogs get back a long freaking ways from them and try to hit them. Kind of need some dirt so you can see where the bullet's hitting so you can walk them in, you know. Say what now? There's a road to that bridge over. Right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, that might... Right. You don't think this one will go anywhere? It's not very well used, that's for sure, but... Okay. Because this is, I would say, an established road. We'd be okay running down it. But, yeah, let's go over to that next one. How far, how far in on the private land are we? It was just a little tiny bit there. See, we're back on BLM now. This is where we were before. Did it show a mark where we're at? Yeah, the end of that black arrow. Oh. That arrow hit. So I guess we're on BLM now. Mm hmm. And, uh, Heading to state. Doesn't even show a main road, but yeah, let's try that next rise and see if maybe the road goes left. Goes down that bump. 
Yeah, we're just leaving the Dead Horse Ranch, according to this. They got that pasture fenced off, probably. But. So if we go another ridge, we'll be off there. Right? So I'm thinking these are got to be streams, the blue, right? Well, you wouldn't you think? Blue is. Wouldn't that be streams? Is state. No, no, the blue lines. That's the main road. You know? mm, is that a road? What's your little flag? Is that a thumb miscalculation or something? No idea. You've got a number two flag there. Does that mean you've been there with your four wheeler? No. I never flag. I I've never done that. I mean, maybe accidentally. Because I've been, you know, over yonder, but I've never been this far in on this two track. Well, your flag, yeah, it's over there a little bit. Yeah, that's probably where the World War II crap is. Yeah. And I don't know if you uh, wrote a, a memo on your flag. No, probably didn't. I vaguely know how to use that thing. <laughs> I never took the time to. I never took the time to use it. Yeah, I know what. <laughs> this one was a pretty good one on sale. So we've got a plan. We're going to go over here to this next ridge. Gary thinks there's a two-tracker heading to our left here, heading north. Might get us down to the <coughs> south fork of the Powder. This is all the Powder River country. It's kind of all famous Indian, Native American country. And from here north, a lot of nice stuff. A lot of history. Sheep country mostly, but they run cattle here too. See, I didn't, I don't know, Gary was seeing a two-tracker here, but I don't, I don't think I see one. I think we should have went down that one back there. Gary's old Suzuki is like a 1974. Has to mix oil and gas. But, you know, it was free, so... What the heck. Can't hardly beat that. A little excited there, hit 25 miles an hour. I don't think there's any two track on that ridge. <laughs> I didn't see anything. You want to go back to that one? You want to go back to that two track? Let's do that. It's not very far back there. going to try to do an overnight camp trip or two this summer off of the motorcycle, you know, leaving the house with all my gear. Just a tent and a sleeping bag and some grub and some water. I was just going to go up on Casper Mountain and one of the campgrounds up there, but they're doing road work up 
in and around and they're gonna they've shut down all the campgrounds all summer long so that put a kibosh on instead of going 10 miles to go camping in the mountains now I gotta go 20 miles to go camping in the desert or go 80 miles to get to some mountains so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do I don't really want to run down highways with this bike but I can take some back roads and get to get to the southern end of the Bighorns just going on county roads and stuff it'll be a long old dirty road but it might be fun definitely won't be doing that alone that's like 85 miles to get up to where I want to go I'll have to carry extra gas Uh, man, I don't know about this one. I sure don't get used much. But it is an old road. Yeah, I could say on a road like this, if I was a younger, stronger rider, I could be blasting along this road really fast, and this Kawasaki would, uh, the suspension would, would handle it just fine, but uh, it's one of those things where the bike is much more capable than the rider is, kind of like my golf clubs used to be, they were they were better than I was. My pool cue, it's better than I am. Definitely an old two track, but boy, I hope it keeps going. It's gonna, I think if it keeps going, it'll take us to where we're trying to get to. I was hoping for a little more established road than this though. BLM land, you're not supposed to you're supposed to stay on existing roads. So we try to respect that. Yeah, this has gotta be the South Fork down below us. This is a, a fork of the Powder River that doesn't flow much water. It'll have some in it now, but uh, later in the summer it'll be pretty well dry. <coughs> Excuse me. And then further north, the middle fork of the Powder River and the red fork of the Powder River and the North Fork of the Powder River all come together, and the South Fork too, obviously, all come together kind of way out in the de uh, out in the desert, be north and east of here. Then they head kind of northeast out of the state. And then I believe maybe get to the Belfouche River, and then that gets into the, uh, eventually the Missouri, I believe. So, yeah, the rivers kind of run north out of the state, which is a little unusual. So now I don't know where we're at. This almost looks like something over here. Yeah, here we go. This looks more like the two-track. Man, this is back into nowhere. Hoo-wee, this is cool. Look at this valley.
Yeah, I think we're just going cross country now. I don't know where we're at. <laughs> I, that's got to be the South Fork right there. That's too big to be anything else. Beer bottle? Beer bottle? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not the first ones out here ever, that's for sure. So I guess maybe we'll just take a little hike from here and wander down that way. I think is the plan. So anyway, thanks for watching this video, and we'll probably start up another one after a while. Bye.